Aloha and welcome to an episode of Stay at Home Blues and Oranges brought to you by After School All Stars Hawaii. My name is Ms. Sheena and I am a program leader at Waiahu All Stars. In today's episode, we will be making homemade hot pockets. I'm sure you guys have tried this or know what this is. It's a very easy microwave meal, great for any time, and a great after school lunch. So, here are the things you'll be needing for today's activity a rolling pin, a baking pan, pizza crust. I got this pizza crust at Walmart, it's really inexpensive, but you can make your own, own pizza crust at home. There's tons of online, the recipes you can follow. Marinara pizza sauce, a knife, or if you have a pizza roller, flour, and cheddar cheese and pepperoni. But this is your hot pocket, so any choice of topping is fine. Garlic salt, butter, and a cup of food. The garlic salt and butter is what we'll be topping the hot pockets with. And the spoon is for obviously to spread everything around. So the first thing we're going to do is pop open our pizza crust and start rolling it out. Before we put our pizza crust on the table, I'm going to dust some flour so that it doesn't stick and it's easier to work with. Now that your pizza dough is all rolled out, I'm going to roll it even more because I don't want to thick of a dough. So I'm going to put some flour on my rolling pin too, it's just easier to work with. And I'm just going to roll it up. You don't want it to be too thin because you want your filling to come out. So then this pizza crust is only going to make about four hot pockets. So what I'm going to do is to try and really into the four individual pieces. And then after I put the topping inside, I'm just going to be folding over and pinching the sides. So now we're going to put in the filling. In. So I'm going to First, put the base of it, which is the marinara sauce and pizza sauce. And I'm only going to be doing it on half of it because remember that we're going to be folding it over and then we're pinching the sides. So only one side to have it. And I'm going to make sure that it leaves about maybe half an inch from the edges because we don't want things to spill out. Okay, now that the pizza, pizza sauce is on, I'm going to add my cheddar cheese. But again, this is your hot pocket, so add whatever. You can add a different kind of cheese, or mozzarella, broccoli, paprika. I prefer to like cheddar cheese. You can add as much as you want. Some cheese, I have pepperoni, and I'm going to add four slices. Okay, now once that's all done, Take the edge, the other half of the pizza dough, and fold it right over. Try to match it. So after that's folded over, you're going to want to pinch the sides, making sure that they're stuck together so that nothing comes out. We're going to do that to every single one of them. So, 
this will make your hot pocket look and taste even better. So now that um, your hot pockets are ready to put in the oven, after it's done for heating at 350, we're going to put this in for about 12 minutes. But just keep an eye on it, make sure it's browning up really nice and obviously not going to get burned. So this is our finished product. Um, this is what it should look like. I know it doesn't, it's not exact replica of a hot pocket, but again, it's homemade. So I hope you guys give this a try at home. It's easy. I think I've watched some tutorial. Very easy, inexpensive, and fun activities with your family. Different hot pockets, different styles, put whatever you guys want inside. And I have one little problem. It's kind of like the spillage. So if you want to make it more intact, you can afford maybe and do some ripples on the side to keep it close. But yeah, it's really easy. Give it a try. And if you guys do try this, don't forget to send us a picture. You did anything different? You made it cool or dessert or whatever. Just have fun with it and send us a video. If you're joining us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on our notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Please also follow at All Stars Hawaii on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok to connect with us. We hope you share this video and leave us a comment about what you would like to see next. Bye!